Bill Shirk is still buried alive after three days. Bill, two tarantulas, and two snakes were put six feet under Friday afternoon. Now, this is a publicity stunt by his radio station here in Indianapolis, WXLW. They're trying to raise $5,000 in order to buy a bus for retarded children and for physically handicapped adults. Now, our live action cam is out at the site, and I hope I have Bill here at Telephone, who is down in the cup. And Bill, you there? I am down underground in a coffin, seven feet long, 18 inches high and 23 inches wide, six feet underneath the ground. Bill, bring us up to date on this. The last I heard, you had asked the President of the United States to contribute some money before you'd come out. You also were not going to come out until you raised the $5,000. Contributions had been going slowly. You went past your deadline. What is the status right now? Well, the status at the present time is that President Carter at uh, uh, 3.15 this afternoon uh, issued a telegram, which we received here, and uh, made the donation on uh, behalf of the retarded citizens of the United States of America. And we are presently at $4,750, $250 shy of the $5,000, which we need. Uh, so you're going to stay down there till you get the $5,000? I'm going to stay down here until we get the $5,000. The President came through, and I know the people of any are going to come through for a very special group of people, the retarded citizens here in uh, the Indianapolis area. Bill, tell me what it is like. I mean, you got a snake down there with a, a rattler. What does the rattler do? Let me explain something. First of all, I am down here buried with a 10-foot python, two tarantula spiders, and a 4-foot timber rattlesnake. Now, let's face it, nobody can be down in a coffin underground, a regular coffin underground with air hoses giving me air so I can breathe, and three telephones to talk to people to raise money all over the United States and here locally, too. But uh, uh, these animals I have under control. When I was first put into the coffin before I was buried at uh, 12 o'clock on Friday here in front of the WXLW studios, uh, they put the tarantulas in on me first first, one at a time. I was put in the coffin, the lid was put on, then a door was opened and they dropped the uh, animals individually on me. What I did was, is the minute I got in the coffin, I took off my uh, shoes, my tennis shoes, which I had on. I took off both my socks. I took off all my shoelaces out of my shoes. I took off my jumpsuit and I took off my turtleneck sweater and I had on what is basically a little wrestling tight outfit right now on my watch. What I did when the tarantulas were dropped in, I grabbed them by the back, I put them inside my shoes and I took the uh, sock and I put it over the sock to tie I am inside the shoes. So the two tarantulas are inside the shoes, you see, and there's no way they can get out or harm me. What about the snake? When the python was put on, on me, he was put on, on me tail first, and when he came down, I got him by the back of the neck. I had my jumpsuit off, which I could zip up and tie the uh, legs and also tie the sleeves. Therefore, all the opening was was the uh, top of the jumpsuit. And I got him in that, and I tied that up, and he's been in there ever since. In fact, I'm using as a pillow, and I'm leaning against him right now. Now, the rattlesnake is the big problem. If the rattlesnake would have bitten me in the chest or the face, being as a uh, larger rattlesnake, as it is, which is four foot long, and being a timber rattler, its venom glands are quite large, so it can really uh, unleash a very lethal dose of, uh, of venom. And it would, if it got, what did you do with him? Okay, if it got me in the face or it got me in the heart, I was done. There's no doubt about it. So when he came in, he came in head first. His head hit, I got him right by the back of the neck. I took my shoestrings that I had used, and I tied his mouth up as securely as possible to still keep him alive. Then I took the sleeves of my turtleneck, and I tied those. I tied the other shoestring around the turtleneck, and then I wrapped the sleeves around, and I've got him tied in my turtleneck. Now, if he gets out of the shoestrings, he can bite through the turtleneck, and I don't know whether he's got on loose, because there's no, I'm not going to get in there to find out. Let's put it that way. Okay, Bill, I'm out of time. I want to wish you luck. Thank you. I think you've got a lot of guts, and it's for a good cause, and be careful down there. Well, 